Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic that often carries stigma, but is absolutely crucial to understand sexually transmitted infections or STIs. We're going to break down the wall of silence and have an open, honest conversation about STIs. We'll cover the most common ones, talk about their symptoms because sometimes there are none, how you can protect yourself and what treatments are available. Let's get started. First up is chlamydia, often called the silent epidemic. Why? Because most people with chlamydia don't even know they have it. This means they can unknowingly pass it on to others. Now, if you do experience symptoms, they can include things like pain or burning during urination, unusual discharge, or pain in the lower abdomen. But here's the thing. Even if you don't have symptoms, untreated chlamydia can lead to serious long-term problems, especially for women. We're talking about pelvic inflammatory disease which can cause infertility and chronic pain. The good news? Chlamydia is easily cured with antibiotics. Next, we have gonorrhea, which often goes hand in hand with chlamydia. Like chlamydia, gonorrhea can be asymptomatic, but when symptoms do appear, they're similar to what we talked about, painful urination, abnormal discharge, but this time, you might also see rectal discharge or itching. Now, if left untreated, Gonorrhea can also lead to some serious complications like infertility in both men and women. And just like chlamydia, it's easily treatable with antibiotics. The key here is early detection and treatment to prevent those long-term consequences. Now let's talk about syphilis, a sexually transmitted infection that progresses in distinct stages, each with its own set of symptoms and potential complications. It all begins with a painless sore known as a chancre which typically appears on the genitals, rectum, or mouth. This sore is often overlooked because it doesn't cause any pain, making it easy to miss. This initial phase is referred to as the primary stage of syphilis. During this stage, the chancre sore is highly infectious, and the bacteria can easily spread to others through direct contact. If the infection is not treated at this point, syphilis progresses to the secondary stage. In this stage, you might notice a widespread rash that can appear on various parts of the body including the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Other symptoms include fever, swollen lymph nodes, and a general feeling of being unwell. These symptoms can be quite varied and may come and go over time, making it challenging to recognize the infection without proper medical attention. Now here's where it gets really serious. If syphilis remains untreated, it can advance to the latent stage, where the infection lies dormant in the body. This stage can last for years without any noticeable symptoms, but the bacteria are still present and can cause significant damage over time. Eventually, if still untreated, syphilis enters the late or tertiary stage, which can occur many years after the initial infection. This stage is characterized by severe health problems that can affect multiple organ systems. During the late stage, syphilis can cause serious damage to your internal organs, including the heart, brain, and nervous system. This damage can lead to a range of complications, such as cardiovascular issues, neurological problems, and even mental health disorders. In the most severe cases, untreated syphilis can be fatal, underscoring the importance of early detection and treatment. The good news is that syphilis, especially in its early stages, is easily treatable with antibiotics, most commonly penicillin. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment can effectively cure the infection and prevent long-term health complications. So, if you suspect you might have been exposed to syphilis, it's crucial to seek medical advice and get tested as soon as possible. Chapter 4. Now let's talk about HIV, which stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. This virus has been a significant public health issue for decades, affecting millions of people worldwide. Understanding how it works is crucial in combating its spread and managing its impact. HIV attacks the immune system specifically targeting CD4 cells, which are a type of white blood cell that plays a major role in protecting the body from infections. By attacking these cells, HIV weakens the immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off infections and diseases that it would normally be able to handle. If left untreated, HIV can lead to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, which is the most advanced stage of HIV infection. At this stage, the immune system is severely damaged, and the body becomes vulnerable to opportunistic infections and certain cancers that it would otherwise be able to fend off. Now, early on HIV might not cause any symptoms or you might experience flu-like symptoms that go away. 
These early symptoms can include fever, sore throat, and fatigue, which are often mistaken for other viral infections. This asymptomatic period can last for several years, during which the virus continues to replicate and damage the immune system. This is why getting tested is so important. Regular testing is the only way to know your HIV status, especially since the virus can be present in your body without causing noticeable symptoms. Early detection through testing allows for timely intervention and treatment, which can significantly improve health outcomes. While there's no cure for HIV, with proper treatment, people with HIV can live long, healthy lives. Advances in medical science have made it possible for individuals with HIV to manage the virus effectively and maintain a good quality of life. This includes adhering to a treatment regimen and regular medical checkups. Medications called antiretroviral therapy or ART can dramatically slow the progression of the virus and prevent transmission to others. ART works by reducing the viral load in the body to undetectable levels, which not only helps in keeping the immune system strong, but also reduces the risk of transmitting the virus to sexual partners. Consistent use of ART is essential for managing HIV effectively. Chapter 5. Let's talk about herpes simplex virus or HSV. This virus is incredibly common and affects millions of people worldwide. There are two main types, HSV1, which usually causes oral herpes, and HSV2, which typically causes genital herpes. HSV1 is often responsible for those cold sores around the mouth, which can be quite painful and unsightly. On the other hand, HSV2 is more commonly associated with genital herpes, leading to sores and blisters in the genital area. Both types can cause painful sores or blisters, which can be distressing and uncomfortable for those affected. Now, here's the thing about herpes. Once you have it, it stays in your body. The virus lies dormant in your nerve cells and can reactivate at any time. That means you can have outbreaks throughout your life. These outbreaks can be triggered by various factors such as stress, illness, or even exposure to sunlight. The good news is that outbreaks usually become less frequent and less severe over time. Your body builds up a certain level of immunity, which helps in managing the symptoms better. While there's no cure for herpes, antiviral medications can help manage outbreaks and reduce the risk of transmission. These medications can be taken during an outbreak to speed up healing or daily as a suppressive therapy to prevent outbreaks. It's also important to practice good hygiene and avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact during an outbreak to prevent spreading the virus to others. Support groups and counseling can be beneficial for those dealing with the emotional and psychological impact of living with herpes. Sharing experiences and getting professional advice can make a significant difference. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle including a balanced diet, regular exercise and stress management can also help in reducing the frequency and severity of outbreaks. Remember, having herpes is manageable, and with the right approach, you can lead a healthy and fulfilling life. Always consult with your healthcare provider to find the best treatment plan for you. Now let's discuss HPV or human papillomavirus. HPV is actually a group of over 100 different viruses. Some types of HPV can cause genital warts, while others can lead to cancer, including cervical, anal, and throat cancer. Here's the good news. There's a vaccine that can protect against the types of HPV that cause most HPV-related cancers. The HPV vaccine is most effective when given before someone becomes sexually active. Regular screenings like pap tests can also help detect precancerous changes caused by HPV. Let's move on to hepatitis B and C. These viruses affect the liver. Hepatitis B can be transmitted sexually, as well as through sharing needles or from mother to baby during childbirth. Hepatitis C is primarily spread through blood, like sharing needles. Now both viruses can cause fatigue, jaundice, and liver damage. There's a vaccine for hepatitis B, but not for hepatitis C. However, there are effective treatments for both viruses that can prevent serious liver damage. Finally, let's talk about trichomoniasis, or TRICH. It's caused by a parasite and is one of the most common curable STIs. Now, many people with trichomoniasis don't have any symptoms, especially men. But for those who do, symptoms can include itching, burning, and discharge. The good news? Trichomoniasis is easily treated with antibiotics. However, it's important that both partners get treated to prevent reinfection. Thank you for watching. Remember, awareness and prevention are key in managing STIs. Knowing the facts, understanding the risks, and getting tested regularly, these are the best tools you have. 
Safe practices like using condoms can significantly reduce the risks of getting an STI. And if you have any questions or concerns, please, please consult a healthcare professional. Don't let stigma prevent you from getting the information and care you need. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content.